let's talk stupidity. Because that is all I'm seeing lately. So, Xbox are going to sell games on PlayStation. So, they spent however many, many billion on Bethesda. They spent in 70 billion on Activision. And they're going to sell games on PlayStation and Nintendo. And that's apparently the uh, end of the console war, apparently. I've never heard such nonsense, absolute nonsense in my life. Now, I have my PC and I have an Xbox. Um, I'm planning on getting a PlayStation because uh, I want to play a couple of games. But the fact is... Let's just say, for instance, I was reading this tweet here, funniest end to the console war, and then there's just a load of clips, nonsense clips. But my point is, let's say, for instance, Xbox disappears. They say, right, we don't want to make a console anymore. Get that out of the way. So the only consoles on the market are the PlayStation 5 and the Nintendo. Right, so most Xbox players are probably just going to move to PC anyway. They probably won't even bother with a PlayStation 5. Some will, but a lot will just move to PC. But how much do you actually think Sony would charge for the, play, the new PlayStation if it, there wasn't competition there, any competition whatsoever? You would literally have to take out a small mortgage. You would literally have to take out a small mortgage because with no competition, it goes on demand and supply, or supply and demand, whichever way you want to say that. And the fact of the matter is, is there wouldn't be much supply, but there'd be lots of demand, and the prices would just be ridiculous. With Xbox in the market, there's a little bit of competition there, so they are they balance the prices. You get, even though they're still quite exp quite expensive. You get a little bit of leeway there. The fact that people still in 2024 argue over what piece of plastic they play their games on is just ridiculous to me on all levels. My personal opinion on exclusives on consoles, and I think PlayStation are mad for not doing it anyway, but Xbox, I can see what they're doing, is if you have an exclusive on your console, I think that is perfectly fine. But what I think you should do is you should have the exclusive for a whole year. You literally should have it. Let's say, for instance, what we've got coming up, we've got uh, Indiana Jones we've got coming up. So it's on, play, it's on Xbox in December, and then it's, moving, it's getting released on PlayStation in the spring of 2025. So they're having a little bit of an exclusive. Try and make some sales. They won't make. They'll try and make some sales on Xbox, and then they'll make some loads of sales on PlayStation. They should do the same with every single game. I honestly, be if you have Halo, Halo should be exclusive for a year, then move it over to PlayStation. Why not? It's money making. It's it's a capitalist society. You're here to make money. And if selling games on PlayStation makes a company money when they've just spent 70-odd billion on a company, why? I don't understand people's mentality. It's like a two 12-year-old arguing. I mean, I'd love to be able to... When uh, cross-compatibility came along, where you could play with other people on other platforms on certain games, it was just the best thing ever. Because I, I had a friend that had a PlayStation, and I only had me, me Xbox. But we could play a couple of games. Is that not good for everyone? I don't understand the argument. It doesn't matter which console's more powerful. None of that makes any. It, it's as if you're invested in the company. The company is Xbox, PlayStation, Sony, Microsoft. They don't give two hoots about you as a person. So I don't know why you invest so much. It's like iPhone users. Can baffle me. They literally baffle me because I don't understand what I don't understand what brainwaves they're working on. 
it's, it's nonsense. It's an absolute nonsense. You need a couple of consoles in the market for competition. Otherwise, you're just going to get absolutely... Do you think games will stay at 70 quid if there's only one console on the market? <laughs> no. They'll be going up to $100, $100, 90 quid before you know it. It's absolutely ridiculous. So can we just calm down on this Xbox thing? Because I guarantee you Xbox is going nowhere. Let's just remember, Microsoft could buy Sony, what? 50, 60, 70 times over and still have changed to buy Coke. Do you know what I mean? Coca-Cola. Just let's... They're not running out of money. You know, they've got a plan. Whatever that plan is, I don't know because it's so messed up. They keep changing their minds on things, especially with this new Game Pass thing where they've moved it up to where you need Ultimate to get day one um, releases. I think that is a fail on a lot of parts because that's not what they promised and they're changing their minds constantly. They need to set out a thing and they need to stick with it. But I don't care. I'm an Xbox user. I've always had an Xbox. Straight after the PlayStation 2, I went to Xbox um, with the, you know, the, the good old Duke and whatnot, the original OC one. And I just don't understand where this argument got because I've never cared if somebody's got a PlayStation 5. I pick it up, I play it. Yeah, it's cool. I don't understand it. It's a piece of plastic. Stop arguing over plastic. And if you're that bothered about it, build a PC. I've got a PC here that would wipe a PlayStation out of the market, but I don't use it for gaming. I use it just for normal, general, everyday stuff. I, I still use my Xbox to play games because I like to lie back on, sit back on my bed and play them. I don't want to sit in a chair like this and sit there fiddling about. I can't be bothered. They're both great consoles. I don't know what 12-year-olds are arguing. These people on the internet are arguing over it. It's absolutely ridiculous. Get a grip of yourselves. Anyway, over and out. That's my video today, and I will see you in the next one.